Shalala, he don't to thee. No one, no one who shall be done to thee. No one who shall.
you have helped us. Oh, thou, the God of what's heart, the delivering us from the fire. Precious Father in glory, He that dwell between the cherubims in the place of power, the Lord of hosts is your name. You ride on the wings of the wind, the clouds are your chariots. You come with ten thousand of your angels. Jehovah is your name. You sit in a place of light in an unapproachable. Oh Lord, far above principalities and powers, we have come before you, the owner of the heavens and the earth, the one that rule over human beings and spirits. You created the heavens and the earth, you created man and spirits, and no man created you. You existed from the beginning, the beginning began inside you. You are all, you are all, he that is. He that was and he that is to come. In the days of your power, your children are willing. These are the days of your power. The days when you will raise jewels. They are for raise jewels amongst us. And change the narrative in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Lord, Lord, your word is truth. We believe it, and there shall be a performance of that which is told us. Every manner of sickness can be healed because Jesus healed all of them. So, oh Lord, in glory, 
miracle cell can be healed therefore holy spirit therefore holy spirit take over and heal every sickle cell holy ghost holy ghost these are the days of your power therefore arise in glory manifest your service of old in the name of jesus thank you lord lord ride on in glory thank you dear lord have your wave in this morning settle the matters that have troubled the hearts that have troubled the hearts change the narrative change this narrative turn things around for us it is well with our souls for jesus is still in the throne hey jesus is still on the throne everything is possible jesus is still on the throne everything is possible jesus is still on the throne everything is possible jesus is still on the throne everything is possible healing is possible deliverance is possible good health is possible pregnancy is possible jesus is still on the truth everything is possible jesus is still on the truth everything is possible jesus is still on the truth everything is possible jesus is still on the truth Everything is possible. Jesus is still on the throne. Everything is possible. Jesus is still on the throne. Everything is possible. Sister, everything is possible. Giving birth is possible. If 90 years can give birth 50 years can if he healed every manner of illness he can heal all manner of illness in our time if he made Peter to catch enough fishes such that he had no place to carry them he beckoned on his friends and colleagues and they came and helped him out he can change our bank accounts and he can cause that it will be green he can make a, 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 a beggar to become a millionaire it is possible because Jesus is still on the throne thank you Jesus in Jesus name we are praying amen Praise the Lord. Bread and everything is possible. As far as Jesus is still on the throne, everything is possible. And the possibility begins inside you, inside me. Believing that it is possible, then it will be possible. But when we don't believe, even Jesus will be handicapped. So everything is possible. Amen. The topic we have this morning is such as turn away their ears from hearing the law. Such as turn away their ears from hearing the law. We're going to offer much prayer 
today. We're going to make some prayers with the expectation of immediate response and answers from heaven. Are you listening, brethren? With the expectations of immediate response and answers from heaven. Immediate response and answers from heaven. However, for our prayers, for our petitions, for our requests and intercessions and entreaties to be granted, we need to lay a solid foundation. So, that is why our prayers and cries. Amen. So that our prayers and cries do not become a smoke in the eyes of God. Can we read Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9 to 10? Proverbs 28, 9 to 10. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Whoso causeth the righteous to go astray in an evil way, he shall fall himself into his own pit, but the upright shall have good things in possession. Remember, from that place he said, he that donate away his ears from hearing the law. So there will be the law that we're going to hear, but anybody who is turning away his ears from hearing that law, even when he make prayers, it will be abomination. Can we see Second Timothy chapter 4? Chapter 4, we're reading from verse 1. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exalt with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lusts shall lay heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Verse 5. But watch thou in this in all things. Endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. I'm having a persuasion in my heart to just say, let us pray. But we must build on this first. This is a generation that will speak to heaven and heaven will answer immediately. Why? We're made to understand that in the last days, he will pour his spirit upon all flesh. When somebody said he's going to pour, he's not going to just give. He's going to pour it. And if he's pouring his spirit upon all flesh, we're made to understand that everyone is supposed to be a carrier of that spirit, a carrier of that power. So we're believing that impossibilities will be possible in the latter days because he had poured his spirit upon all flesh. And every person who is seated here must understand that the spirit of God had been poured upon you except if you are not born again. So if you are born again, you are a carrier of God's spirit. And as a carrier of God's spirit, impossibilities, when it has to do with the things in the realm of the spirit, shouldn't be your path, should not be a barrier to thee. God are days when we, 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 we peg answers to our prayers, answers to solutions to some individuals. These are days when the Lord is pouring it upon the church that every person ought to be a manifesto of God's power. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. We must debug our heart, our minds from this, this notion of I must meet an individual to talk to God for my sake. Are we listening, brethren? Are we listening, brethren? The Spirit of God has been poured upon the church. Only when we realize that the presence of God is upon your life, you will never be able to do anything. You will think there is this individual that God has specially uh, given grace to. God is just so delighted on that person. Well, though, when you pay the price, you will get the price. Hallelujah. So, but it is needed that every person must come to terms that the spirit of God is poured upon us. And response to prayers should be immediate because we are carriers of God's spirit. And when he said, the spirit cried Abba Father, there is a link between our spirit and God's spirit because when we call him, he heareth us, we are sons. In the meeting, we are told that we are sons. We are not strangers. During the hilltop encounter. And being sons, we have relationship with the, with the house. And in one of the classes I handled, I asked them, I said, do you knock when you are entering your house? He said, no, nobody knock when you are entering your house. Then when do you knock? Only when the door is locked. And I asked some persons, I said, if you are thirsty, as in an older person, if you are thirsty, do you go to ask your mom, mom, please, I want to drink water. And I asked them for a response. Somebody said, the mother will just begin to touch the body to know whether this person is sick. Are you all right? Might be the question. Why, brethren? Can we respond? Why will it be so? You know where the water is. You don't need to ask me. You are a member of this house, and so the member of the house, you know where it is found. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! May we come to dimension where we will know where the resources of the kingdoms are. And there won't be need to ask God. Are we getting it? I don't know if your spirit is tensed. Hallelujah. We must understand where the resources are kept. No longer asking God because he should say you should know where it is. So when we make demands, we should be able to call that thing and it will respond to us. When he said there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither divination against Israel, then it should come to a point where I don't need to ask God, God, go and kill this one, or God, go and do this. I should be able to speak to those things because he had told me that there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither divination against Israel. It's like a principle. You don't need to study it. You don't need to ask if there is no light, all you need to do is to go and switch it on. You don't need to pray for the light to be switched on. If we pray from here to tomorrow, will the light be on? The key to the door. If we pray from now to tomorrow, will the doors be open? But if you must have access to the office there you need to ask the persons who have control of that office are we getting it but there are things you don't ask any person you don't come to church asking the people in the secretary should i enter the church amen amen may the church rise this time around the music minister sang and said i am building a people of power let it not just be mere words and I'm building a people of praise. A people of power who will move through this land. How? Such that we will have dominion over it. Not as if everything is belongs to us or everything is ours. But we are having dominion. I asked some persons, I said, it's not as if Jesus intended to walk on water. But it was because the sheep that was to carry him had gone. So that the ship that was to carry him had gone. What does he do? What would he do? Is it for him to remain stranded? No. Since there is no ship, no problem. Let me walk on water. 
Hallelujah. That the thing we need to convey us or to achieve that aim is not there. We ought not to be stranded. That is what is found in the realm. In that realm. And every child of God ought to belong to that realm. Are we listening? Every one of us ought to belong to that realm. I'm tired of Christianity that is just a normal one. Such that we have no power to make things be. Until we rise. Until we rise. Heaven will continue to be silent. But men who have risen are making exploits. We must speak. Bible said, he called things that were not as though they were. We must speak and those things must come to pass. It is not impossible. All the impossibilities just found in our hearts. I cannot do it. And you can't do it. But I can do it. Why? Jesus is my father. I am redeemed by the blood of Jesus. The Bible said there is therefore now no condemnation to those in Christ Jesus. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ have done what? Set us free. From what? The law of sin and death. And when we are free from the law of sin, which is the law of limitation, and the law of death, which is also the law of limitation, then we can walk through life and make what we need come to pass. Hallelujah. You think it's impossible? So if we must pray and get immediate answer, we must first of all give ear, give heed to God's word. Amen. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 45 to 47. chapter 32 verse 45 and Moses made an end of speaking all these things, these words to all Israel and he said unto them set your hearts unto all the words which I testify among you this day which ye shall command your children to observe to do all the words of this law for it is not a vain thing for you because it is your life and through these things ye shall prolong your days in the land whither ye go over Jordan to possess to possess it. Praise the Lord. Now he said for it is not a vain thing for you because it is your life. And through this thing ye shall prolong your days in the land whither ye go over Jordan to possess it. Amen. It is through the word which he has spoken to them and the word we hear. I think the challenge we have is not giving heed to God's word. I keep believing that the much of God's word you have is the much of God that you carry. I keep believing that. So, but when we don't have much of God's word, we will not have much of God. It's not as if God has quantity. But we don't have the, the component of God. We will not have much of it inside. So, when it has to do with fulfilling some dimension we will not be able to accomplish it because we don't have the word that will address that matter so the church of God must give heed to God's word and return to his word come on what, what happened in the days of old when we are told that the fear of the, ch of the people the fear of the church came upon the people what happened what did they do that today it is the fear of the people that have come upon the church. Every one of us must return to this word. Return to giving heed to the word. Remember, we said our topic is such as turn away their ears from hearing the law. We will not accomplish things we ought to accomplish because we've turned our ears from hearing the law. Now we'll see the repercussion. Amen. So if our words, if our prayers will not be a smoke in God's ear or in the eyes of God, we ought to give heed to this word. Proverbs chapter 1.
Um, maybe let's see Isaiah 59 first. Isaiah 59, reading from verse 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that ye will not, that he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue have muttered perceive, sorry, perceive perverseness, sorry, have muttered perverseness. So you discover that if our hands are filled with, defiled with blood, and our fingers with iniquity, and our lips spoken lies, and our tongue are muttered perverseness, how then can God hear us? Because these are things that have prevented the power of God from making, from having effect in our lives today. Brethren, we're returning back to Bethel. Are we listening, brethren? We're returning back to God. We're returning back to that our Father. Men who possess, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Do you know that men who do diabolic things, men who sell themselves to the devil, go and check, most of them try to live holy, as the case may be, maybe moral. Do you understand that? Go and check, most of them try to be morally sound. Most of them avoid some defilement. Because in that realm, they are also told that if you do this, if you defile yourself, this, this power will be lost. Have we ever heard that? So if such people who seek power from the devil will be given condition that if you defile yourself, the, that power will not be effective. How much more, children of God, that holiness is the embodiment of their father and should be a part of our lives. The enemy have known that if only I make these people see him, the power of God will be lost. So when we sin, when we do all this, the power of God will be less, less effective. Then we will not do anything much. We'll be praying, we pray so much, but we get less answer, little answer. Reason being that the terms and conditions are not met and we're expecting to get answer. So as far as that realm is concerned, it is the same terms and condition that is found in that realm. But anybody who meets with that terms and condition can have access. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we're told that Solomon, who is believed to be the writer of Proverbs, says that whosoever turn his ears from hearing the law, his prayer, his fasting, his offering, and anything he or she does will turn to be abomination before God. His prayer, his fasting, his offering, and anything he or she does will turn to be an abomination before God. So we need to start taking notes. When all we are doing in the name of fulfilling spiritual works becomes an abomination before God. Proverbs 28 verse 9. Let's confirm that. Please, it's not time to sleep. You're feeling sleepy, shake off those uh, distractions because it's a distraction. 28, verse 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be. Even his prayer shall be. So it is possible that our prayers, as much as we pray and thunder heaven, as much as we pray and make noise, all will be abomination before God. So if we must make prayer this morning, yes, to God and get immediate response, then we must 
ensure that everything called abomination is taken away from us. Hallelujah. Abomination is a thing that causes disgust or looting, looting something regarded with disgust or hatred. Something abominable. Proverbs chapter 6. Can we read 16 to 19? see something that disgusts one. Six from verse 16. He said, this 16 do dot the Lord hate. Yea, seven are abomination unto him. A proud look. A lying tongue. A hand that shed innocent blood. And heart that devised wicked imaginations. Feet that are swift in running to mischief. A false witness that speaketh lies and he that soweth discord among brethren. Did we get that? Six things that the Lord hates. Seven are an abomination unto him. Number one is what? A proud look. A lying tongue. Two. Hands that shed innocent blood. Hearts that devised wicked imaginations. Feet that is swift in running to mischief. A false witness that speaketh lies. He that soweth discord among brethren. He clearly said six and seven. Then he said, the seventh one, abomination. He that soweth discord among brethren. So these are all the abominations we must take away from us. If we're expecting heaven to attend to our prayers. If we're expecting heaven to come to our aid. Especially this time around. Brethren, we need God to attend to our matters. Especially this time. Are we getting it? We need the heavens to intervene. We said a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. So the, the, the x-ray, the survey now is, do I have proud look? Or am I proud? Somebody can look at another person in a proud way. Do you understand that? And you can be proud and yet not display it. So many times, some of the prayer I pray say, God, please read me of silent pride. Read me of silent pride. 
I may be proud, but somebody says, ah, but the brother is humble. But he's actually proud. Though. But because he's not physically displaying it. But it's quiet inside. He manifests it when it's time to get something or there's something that he or she needs and he feels, I must get this thing. It is my right. Not the other side of it, but you notice that this person is actually proud. Reason being that whatever thing that is being said, his own decision is the final. Even if he's wrong. Even if she's wrong. But as far as it's, it's coming from him or from her, it should be accepted. That could be pride. These are the things he had been outlining. He said, who devised said wicked imaginations? And that one happened in the heart. We devise wicked imaginations. Somebody just thinking negative, thinking evil against another. In the heart. So as we're all looking, now we're all innocent. We look innocent, but in the heart, what is going on? So if our prayers must be answered, and you know, let us not be carried away with the fact that some will say, but these other people who are not doing it and God is answering them, eh, do you say such is not coming from the Lord? Now, I make this understanding known to you. Even when Samson in the Bible was committing fornication, in fact, after sleeping with a woman early in the morning, what did he do? Pulled the city gates, carried it in his shoulder. Was it not the power of God in him? Was it not the power of God in him? So as far as he's concerned, if defilement will reduce, will make the power of God be lost, how is it that I was able to manifest again? So any person can live in sin and still manifest and feel uh, if God is not with me and they feel this is the condition or the criteria for God dwelling or the power of God dwelling in me and yet I didn't meet that criteria and yet I still the manifestation of God's power. So what's the big deal? And so many live in sin. Now what happened to, that, to Samson? Patai, his immune system, that power of God immune system to giving heat to anything so reducing we can't believe that that powerful man could just fall at the laps of a woman so powerful how the man that could pull the city gate and throw it away the man that can gather fox put light fire on them and send it to their farms how be it the man that will kill as many of them who were gathered against him, destroyed them, thousands of them with just a jawbone. How be it that this man was captured by a, an ordinary woman? And it's not just an ordinary woman, the laps of a woman, and he gave heed. What happened? All that while, I use the word, his immune system. You know, as a medical person will say, that when the white blood cell when the white blood cell is no longer effective, I think I might not be correct with what I'm saying because I don't know that, but when it's not strong again, any kind of illness, any virus or whatever bacteria that have access into the person will uh, destroy the body. I hope I'm correct. Thank you, sir. So, there is spiritual immunity. And so his spiritual immunity is like reducing and at the slightest pet of a woman, he gave him. He didn't know when he revealed the secrets of his destiny. Because that's his destiny. No man gives the secrets of his destiny. It's like saying, if I give you this, my destiny ends. He didn't know. It was like a play. He was just joking. He was just feeling it's just normal. He didn't know until when he woke up and discovered they've surrounded him and taken off his eyes. Then it became clear, wow, what was I doing? What happened to me? It was not just that day that that thing started. So the terms and conditions must be met. Hallelujah. We're reading Deuteronomy chapter 21. These are the abominations God is saying. Deuteronomy chapter 22, sorry, verse 5. 
abominations that God talked of. And you know, today there are so many controversies, but these are the word of God. And the word of God is still sure. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5 said, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord. Unto the Lord. These are days when the world has so pressed the church, so pressed the church, so pressed the church that the church had no strength again than to give in. And it has become a norm. And it has become a norm that men put on things pertain to women. And women, same things that pertain to men. And we have forgotten that scripturally speaking, he said, it is an abomination unto the Lord. And you know, it has come to a point where the confusion has so set in that if these things are wrong, how be it that God is still at work in the lives of men? The ways of God are past finding out. But the truth of the matter be that as many who break the law will go in for it. There are no two ways about it. It doesn't matter if one million, if not one million, seven billion people accept it to be correct. If the scriptures say it is wrong, it is wrong. Are we listening? Eight billion souls on earth said it is correct. But just one thousand people say the scripture said it is wrong. And we find ways to explain it out. That the Old Testament have come to be modified. And yet in the New Testament, which ought to be the modification of the Old Testament by them anyway, had been modified. Now in the New Testament, he also said, and the effeminate. Who is the effeminate? The man who behaves like a woman. And the woman that behaves like a man. Behaviors in different dimensions could be in the attire could be in the ways they live. So if it is modified, the New Testament, paraventure they say it is, since they say it's modified, the New Testament have said, and the effeminate, these things, these people say shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Many years back, when I was younger then, we used to see this had been a controversy, but it remains sure. The Bible cannot be broken. He that take away from this law, I will take away his own pride, his own portion from that tree. And he that had to eat, he said he will add to his punishment. So that word settles this. Now many years back, if a woman put on a man's attire and passes our street, there is this song, this has people taught us to sing. He said, Biri the wando. I still remember that song. We're still six, seven, then. I will be stoning the woman. She will run past our street. But with time, it started becoming okay. The world pressed the church. You must accept this concept, you must accept this way. With time, it became normal. With time, a pressed and pressed. And since evil that tarried long and it's not corrected, it became a norm and it's now accepted. And now it's become an argument. No man is even arguing about it anymore. But the word of God remains sure. No wonder he said that the way is straight and narrow. But the other one is so broad. It's so broad that it can accommodate anything. It's so broad that every eye, it doesn't matter, can be accommodated. This one is too narrow that even the slightest thing will not be accepted. Even the eternal load will not be accepted. That's part of the abomination. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 13. Bring
Bring no more vain oblations. Incense is an abomination unto me. The new moons and Sabbath, the calling of assemblies, I cannot away with. It is iniquity, even the solemn meetings. Vain oblation, incense is an abomination unto me. New moons and Sabbaths. Hallelujah. Incense is an abomination unto me. This one is so large. Leviticus chapter 7 verse 18. Seven verse eighteen, and if any of the flesh of the sacrifice of his peace offering be eaten at all on the third day, it shall not be accepted. Neither shall it be, neither shall it be imputed unto him that offereth it. It shall be an abomination, and the soul that eateth it shall bear his iniquity. Psalm eleven verse one. Now somebody will be saying, since the time of old, we were told that you sacrifice animal. Then are we also sacrificing animal? In case you say this other one is wrong, what about this one? Are we sacrificing animal? And we are made to understand that once an offering was made, and who is that offering? Jesus Christ. So it means that he ended that sacrifice with one sacrifice. So if one sacrifice had been made, needless doing other sacrifices. So in case somebody is picking up from there and say, what about you said this one is okay because we have accepted this, but you don't accept it. What of this one? Will, do you also make sacrifice through these animals? He said he offered, that offering was made once and for all. So every now and then, sacrifices have been offered during whatever uh, 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 a service and they say we come to offer this sacrifice the sacrifice had been made once he had gone in once and that is the end any other sacrifice is not accepted so things are flying in the air doctrines and so many of them according to the scripture they are abomination unto the Lord Psalm 11 verse 1 And verse 20. In the name of in the Lord will I put trust. How say ye to my soul? Flee as a bed to your mountain. We shall put our trust in the Lord. Chapter 20. We're reading from verse. One, he said, the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all your, thy offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifices. Grant thee according to thy own heart and fulfill all thy counsel. Amen. Amen. It is that that which, that which is exceptionally hateful, sinful, wicked, or vile, which they are the things that make people turn away their ears from hearing the Lord. You know, when we live that way, when we do the things that he said they are abominable, practically we have turned our ears from hearing the Lord. How? Right now we read that the woman that does that, that where that which belongs to a man and a man who take that which belongs to a woman, that it is abomination unto the Lord. It might not just come, somebody will not just come and say, I, 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 I will not do this or I'm not going, I will do it. 
But for the fact that that person is doing it, had practically been that the person had torn his ears from hearing the law. Are we getting it, brethren? For the fact that you're doing it, you don't need to say, I will not obey it. But for the fact that such persons are doing it, practically the person have turned his ears away from the Lord. And the Bible made us to understand that these things are hateful to him. Amen. We're going to see examples of people who turn their ears from the law. And we'll see the repercussion. Such persons include Demas. Demas turned his ears away from the Lord. We knew what happened to Demas. Judas Iscariot, Judas also did same, and also the man of God from Judah. The apostles who became too occupied with administrative business of the church until they were swept, swept by the tsunami of business. One, we say Demas. Demas disappeared. And after Demas disappeared, left the work of God. Did we hear about Demas again? Amen. Amen. After Demas disappeared, did we hear about Demas again? There are those that heaven have called into this business. And as a matter of fact, they are doing well. But after they leave that duty post, you will never hear about them again. But they will be living their normal life. Let it not be that the reason for our living be dead. And if that reason is taken away, then our living will just be that we are wasting time. We are occupying space. We never heard of Demas again. What exploit did Demas do? We never heard of him again. He lived like a normal person. And we don't know how he ended. But these other apostles who continued in God's word, they are today our role model. They are today the episode we read. The episode we are reading today and we are getting nuggets, getting exhaltation, life, uh, impacts that are making impact to us is as a result of them continuing in his word. Judas was sin. Judas was supposed to be among the 12 disciples who in the end should be commanding great results. Today we heard of the exploit of Peter. We heard of the exploit of John the Belong. We heard of the exploit of Philip. We had the exploit of Paul. We had the exploit of all the other apostles. What they did but what was the exploit of Judas? What was the exploit of Judas? Judas died miserably. Judas died miserably. Because he didn't pay attention to that word. What about the man of God? But from where? That man, they have never told, they never told us the name of that man. But we are made to understand that he's the man of God from Judah. For the Bible to address him, man of God from Judah, that man would have been doing exploits. I hope you get it. That man would have been doing exploits. How be it that a man's exploit will so cover his name? Are we understanding it? A man's exploit will so shield his name that when we see you, we just know you to be that miracle worker. We don't know your name again. So if somebody wants to describe somebody, you say, ah, you don't know that miracle worker. Somebody says, who is that miracle Ah, okay. But you call the name. Some persons might not know the name. But because this is what is, cons what is consistent with him. So we just know him with that. So the exploit is so much that in Judah, they know him. That all they describe him with is the man of God from Judah. How be it that that man of God from Judah didn't last long? Because he didn't give heed to God's word. What did he do? The instruction is, don't eat. And don't go the same way. But when he came, and there are so many false prophets, old prophets, who the glory of God have departed from them, but the language is still there. That is why when we read that place, he said, those that so called discord amongst brethren. Some are such persons who have been old in ministry, but the glory of God is not there again. But the language is still there. And so, they understand the language. So when you are speaking the language, they know the language. When you are blowing tongue, they know that tongue. We used to blow it before. 
When you are shouting, they just know because they demonstrated it before. When you come and you are saying, the Lord will do this. Ah, once upon a time, theirs were greater. So they understand it when you are speaking. They just know where you will what will be the end of that discussion whatever will be the end of that prayer you are praying this is where it's going to end this is how it's going to finish this is where you, you conclude it because you understand that language and when you come well that language is properly understood such that when you are telling the Lord brother praise the Lord he say hallelujah you understand that language very well and in the midst of men he can come and say hallelujah and you know the way you say it, hallelujah. Somebody said, brother, bro, I have come in. Amen. Oh, a brother have come in. A sister have come in. It is just a language, no life anymore. And when there's no life, such persons become like that old prophet who will now kill whatever instruction that has been given to the, to the young men who have been sent on an errand. And you know, it was respect that made that young man give in. Sometimes we must be firm to God's word. Irrespective of who is speaking. Be firm. That the person is old does not mean that the person is taken in life. But as far as the instruction of God is concerned, be firm. This is what must be and that thing must be. Because the old will come to tell you, well, this is how you're going to subpedal it. This is not really the way it should be. Praise the Lord. The same thing with the apostles that were so carried away with administrative business until they were swept with that tsunami. Can we read? 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 10. This is what he talked about for talked of of demons he said for demons have forsaken me having loved this present world and is departed unto Thessalonica Christians to Galatia Titus unto Dalmatia demons have forsaken me would it be said of us that brother A have forsaken me and he had gone to do business John chapter 6 verse 16 Many therefore of his disciples when they heard heard this said this is an hard saying and hear it when Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at him, at it, he said unto them, Doth this offend you? What and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profited nothing. The words which I the words which I speak unto you. They are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who they, who should betray him. And he said, Therefore said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. From that time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye go also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou art the words of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that thou art Christ, the Son 
of the living God. And Jesus said, Have not I chosen you twelve? And one of you is a... He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. For he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. It's not as if God programmed Judas. Judas chose to be one of such. Amen. One of the consequences of not hearing the law is a life of emptiness, secret sin, internal and spiritual dryness. Are we listening? One of the consequences of not hearing the law is a life of emptiness, secret sin, internal and spiritual dryness, private and secret failures, and public drama with private lamentations and failures. Emptiness, life of emptiness. A Christianity that, 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 that don't carry that don't carry God, that is not filled, that become any Christian life that is empty, cannot achieve anything in God's presence. And it's one of the consequences of not giving heed to God's word. So all that being said, if you fail to give heed to those words, he says such person will be empty. There is this thing that happened and it's still happening today. I want to cite I want to cite what happened in the days of Solomon with those two women. Brethren, please open your ear. With those two women. The first one, they both agreed they are going to eat this baby today and eat the other one tomorrow, another day. Now, after this one died, or had been eating. And this other one was brought before the king. Well, let me start from when it was brought before the king. The matter was brought before the king. And both of them were asked, who owns this baby? Both said they own the baby. But when the king with wisdom said, okay, what we're going to do, let's just divide this baby into two. Give one to this person and the other one should take one. The one with... The one whose baby is dead accepted it. Is it not true, brethren? But the other one with the sympathy cannot take that. And what did she say? We should allow the child to, die, to grow up. Brethren, I want to cite something from there. Do you know because so many persons who have started this race or probably have been in the business and right now have become empty, are desiring that another person's glory should also be the same. Are we listening? Because once upon a time, your own or your own is dead. Your life is empty. Your life don't have anything about God again. You are just struggling. You don't have God again. There is nothing about it. Now when you see the people who are manifesting, Trying to do exploit in your heart, you are feeling well. Let them just be doing it. Soon they will also go down. Or oh, anything that will make that person go down is okay by you, because your own is there. So every other person should join. So we'll be throwing banana peels to us. We'll be looking for ways to make sure that that brother, as far as that brother is concerned, see, 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 see let's kill this thing now. Let's kill this thing. This thing will change to be a different thing. Let's kill it. Or anything that has to do with the, that person. And probably you hear that something like this just happened. It's negative. You pick that story and you say, I, I, I told you people now. Forget that he come here and he's shouting. Forget these things. Just forget this thing. As far as my own life is dead, every other person should be the same. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Please, I will plead with every one of us. Whatever word that we hear, can we just speak it. Drop it in our hearts. 
And I beg us, please, I'm not speaking to any person, but I beg every one of us, I plead with us, I am pleading with us. There are some exclamations we make that might not be too needed. Are we listening? There are some exclamations that might not be too needed. Too needed in the sense that it look like talk to somebody else. For me, I'm okay. Are we getting it? Talk to another person, but for me, yes, it's good. Correct. I'm not saying such things might be wrong, but it's not needed sometimes. Some are not needed. If it is, talk to me. If you are telling me, if you are saying to the preacher, talk to me, it's okay. And you know, as the word of God is coming, and those exclamations are also flowing alongside, some other persons will be distracted and will not listen to that word and might be pondering over that those exclamations. Could it be that this person is actually directing this word to me? Could it be that that's something I discussed with him? Is it that it's related to this? So he's feeling that uh, hey, now he's using this avenue to talk to me. Yeah, it's like he's talking to me. You see how distractions, because in the heart, the Bible said the heart is desperately wicked and disputable among above all things. The heart is pondering so many things. And so before you catch up, the word would have gone far. Amen. The consequences of such thing is that we will have secret sin. We'll be living in secret sin. No wonder the church of God do not have power anymore. Because there are secret sins. Internal and spiritual dryness. Oh, spiritual dryness. I'm so feeling. And when we are spiritually dry, we will not understand the language. May we come up. May we rise to God. Brethren, hallelujah. May we rise to God so that we will understand the language of God. We will understand when God is speaking to us. No wonder we can entertain any person. No wonder even demons can come in our midst and sit down. Agents of darkness can come in our midst and sit down. When we are spiritually cold, we are spiritually off, how can we dictate when something that is wrong is in the midst? It's time to return to better so that when we speak to God, God will hear us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will hear us. God will hear us. Are we getting it, brethren? I have, I keep saying this here. I keep saying this here. And I'm still believing it. I keep saying it. I will keep repeating it. That I want to get to a realm. We are in. I should be able to have dominion over certain things on earth. Because it's a possibility. I've said it. And somebody will say it's like this person is beginning to do some spiritism. If you take, say, no problem. I want to come to a point because that the church of the living God of the latter days who we overcome the world that has so dealt with the church. That there is no means of coming to church. I should just appear in church. Jesus had no means and he was walking upon water. Not as if he planned to walk on water. There was no means and he walked upon water. And it looked strange. To men who saw him. Ah, this is a ghost. What did he say? No, I'm not a ghost. It's not a ghost, it's me. Peter had the ghost to say, if you are sure, ask me to come. Did Peter walk on water? Did Peter walk on water? It is available in that realm. Collect it and you will have it. Are you listening? It's very much available. And I believe it. I want to believe. Not even any manner of sickness that can be healed in God. Every moment I ponder, I say, why can't cancer be healed? Are you listening, brethren? Why, why will it be that the moment it is discovered that somebody is having cancer, the next thing is, just be building yourself, be preparing yourself. Soon you'll be gone. Did we hear any time in the Bible that there was a particular sickness that Jesus didn't hear? This church must return back. The powers of all must come back. The fathers that laid the foundation laid it upon that. They believed the Lord. 
What about the days of 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 Imbise on the hill? The old men knew how the glory of the house were. It can be returned. We can return to that house. We can return. The world should not have dominion over the church. The church should have dominion over the world. Let's take away sin. The consequences. Emptiness. Dryness. Spirit, secret sin. And all of it. Take it away. Collect that which is released in that realm. So we can walk through. I should come to a point. I am trusting God. I am trusting God. I should come to a point. When I will look at a woman, I should say, how long? He said, how many years? I said, please, go and take your twins, Joe. It's, it's not an impossible thing. It becomes so strange because it is not, we're not, it's not consistent with us. Meanwhile, it's supposed to be the resources of the kingdom. Remember I asked, if you want to drink water, do you ask your father or mother? They know you know where that one is. By the stripes of Jesus, ye are healed. That is the word. And I should be able to tap. Then when you come, by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. I shouldn't be asking Jesus, oh God, heal her. Oh God, heal her. The principle is, by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. You shall lay hand on the sick and the sick will recover. He didn't say you will pray for the sick. You will take deadly things and nothing will harm you. Why is it that when I go to the village and touch something, I will return back becoming afraid because these ones have remembered me. Meanwhile, this one, I will even drink it. Shouldn't be afraid of traveling to the village. I should go with joy, go with confidence. Even if they are all around, they should know that someone who is carrying higher power is around. Because when they go to that realm, they must notice that somebody is in that realm, occupying a realm beyond theirs. Because we are seated where? In the heavenly places. Where? Far above what? How long will the wickedness of the enemy continually mess up? It is because we fail to give heed to that law. And the power that is for that law is not found again. It's now the language, no life. It's a possibility. It is a possibility. I, I keep repeating it. How did Philip got to the Ethiopian eunuch? How? How did the spirit? How did Philip got to the Ethiopian eunuch? Which train? Which vehicle? Which plane? Which plane? But you know, we when we just hear these persons, all the things we watch, movie, or it happen in real life. You just see they pursue the person and he will just touch somewhere and he just move and disappear. Say, ah, don't go. Hi. Hmm, these people have cooked themselves. And when you hear it, it looks like it's diabolic. It's not true. What they are manifesting is counter, counterfeit. It is actually from the original. But because the original, them who are carriers of the original are not manifesting what is available in that realm. The ones, what has filled the air is fake. So even if you are coming with genuine, it looks like ah, genuine is copying the fake. Not knowing that actually the fake went ahead of the genuine and saturated the airwaves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No more. No more shall wickedness prevail. Especially for believers. It can be happening on earth, but especially for believers. But we must listen to that law. When God begins to abort your prayer and see it as an offense to him, you have entered into a big problem. 
God used to hear, but has now been thrown into unto darkness. One that God used to hear, but has now been thrown into darkness, is either faced with repentance or seeking for help elsewhere. If we read in in First Samuel chapter twenty-eight, one to fifteen, we discover when God was helping Saul at first, but when he noticed that. God have turned away his eyes from him. He went to seek for help elsewhere. And that is what's happening today. Some are seeking for help elsewhere. Meanwhile, it is there. Nothing. There is nothing that is not found in that realm. Hallelujah. Nothing that is not found in that realm. Nothing. Let's take away the shackles. Let's take away the things that are abominable before him. Such that when we come before him, it will be clear, it will be easy. It will be simple. Taking delivery of those things will be at ease. But taking delivery of the resources. When we talk about the resources of the kingdom, we are talking of the power that is available in the kingdom. Taking delivery of that power and manifesting it. Why did not the Bible say the endless expectation of creation does what? The endless expectation of creation does what? Waited for the manifestation of sons of God. Creation are waiting. But see us sleeping. And yet creation are waiting. And we are sleeping. And we are resting. And we are not wanting to rise. Rise from secret things. Rise away from this. Take away the elementary things. Let's eat meat. We are still drinking milk. We are still saying, ah, that brother did the other thing to me and the other one did this one. In fact, what he did, eh? Is it not time to just, whether he did anything or not, forget about it. And amongst us, we are settling matters. We are settling matters. For one resources or the other, we are settling matters. When we ought to do what is right, what is proper, and let's move on. Let's move on. The power of God is available. But the devil know that if these people are left to manifest, there won't be. There won't be. See, if the church is to be left to manifest, the power of Satan will not have effect anymore on earth. That is true. It will only be manifesting somewhere. The Bible said, darkness have covered the earth and gross darkness the people. And that's why he called for them whom the spirit of God is upon so that they can bring light. We can bring light to the earth. But something is holding us back. What we ought to do we are not doing it. We are not doing it. Oh, one can get into that place and say, How didn't we hear when, when in a true testimony or true ministration, we're told that a young man needed admission, wanted admission, and couldn't get admission. And over the period, he's been asking God, been writing, and he didn't get. And one day, after making some sacrifices, or as the case may be, he had to go to the, either the senate or so or the VC and told him he was asked to come in the VC asked him who are you how can I help you he said my father said you should give me admission who is your father God said you should give me admission and he got admission no? oh God seek his children to do when they say exploit do some unthinkable things Things that look impossible, you just come in and just order it. That is what sons of God should be manifesting. That's the joy of sons. The joy of sons is that they are manifesting things that the world cannot understand. They say this road is not in, it's a no-go area. You say, eh, is that what they said? No problem. The moment you come, you say, a road open for them. A road opens. And we just pass through. How manage? How is it? How did the rest open? Have rest ever opened again? Did rest ever open again? 
How did Jordan open? Did they use what did they use to open Jordan? What? What did Elisha use to open Jordan? Which tractor? Which I don't know the kind of device that they will use to clear the water and, and make a with a pathway. But he said, with the mantle of Elijah, where is the Lord God of Elijah? Elijah. And Jordan opened. Huh? Them that do know their God. Shouldn't we be doing exploits? Remember the word is wrapping up. Oh. The word is wrapping up. And we have not done the exploit that is needed. And the word is wrapping up. How will we prove to our father that the power that was released to us, we made use of it. So we will return back with the it's like they gave somebody 10 million to go and do business. And he couldn't use even 10,000. He couldn't use 10,000. And he returned back with how many million? 99 million 990,000. And he said, what's the meaning of that? I was actually seeking to become good, great. And yet the 10 million or 100 million you were giving, you didn't invest it. How be it that when we appear at the other side, we will know the, our impossibilities. What we would have been able to do that we didn't do. Didn't the Bible say, them that believe, what will happen? He said, greater things. Is, am I just talking to myself? Did, is it correct? Them that believe God, what happened? Greater things shall they do than I did. Which one have we even done first? Before greater. Church, we must wake up. This our church must wake up. For men are moving. Are we listening? Go out there, men are moving. Men are doing exploit for Jesus. Go out there and watch. People are flying. And Jesus is making, making glory through these men. Church, we must wake up. This church must wake up. This church can take this land. Do you know, do you believe that? This church can take this land. How be it that brother is believing God with me? Sister is believing God with me. And we all rise. And we're saying God release that power. And we enter that realm. And we take it. I tell you. There will be overflow. Men will troop and say wow. Let us go see the Lord here. Can we rise up? It should not just be mere, mere excitement. It shouldn't be mere excitement. Except if, they, if, if there is nothing happening in the inside of you. But I'm tired of this kind of Christian, nominal Christian life. I, 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 I am tired of it. I want to see something different. I want to see something different. I want to speak and my word will be a law. It will be a law. People are dying. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know people are dying? People are seeking for help. Who will help us is the question. And yet, wonderful great men and women, carriers of God's power, are in church. And men are crying, seeking for help. Dying and running to places where there is no help. Where even the devil are champions of such places. Meanwhile, genuines are seated and God is watching and say, I wish these people would know the resources I've released in their hand to wake up and activate those resources so that they can help the generation that right now is dying. People are seeking for who will tell them the real word. People are seeking for help but who will give us the genuine? What we're getting out there, they are all fake or what we're getting out there, most of them, not all anyway, most of such we're getting out there, they are mixed Missed in the sense that even the enemy's hand is inside it. Then while we carry the genuine. We're going to pray. And the prayer first of all must be, Lord we are repenting. Hallelujah. We are repenting of all the things that we have done. The Bible said, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves. Ah, humble themselves. One. Humble themselves. If you are rich, humble yourself. If you are wealthy, sister, humble yourself. If you are wise, humble yourself. If a man of God from Judah, humble yourself. 
if you are the greatest prophet of our time, humble yourself and seek my face. First, repent of any of it, known and unknown, seen, secret faults, and the rest. Then, when we now seek Him, when we call on Him, He said, Then will I hear from heaven? And what will I do? I will heal their land. So healing our land is possible. Our own, the only terms and condition is if my people will humble themselves, call upon my name, repent, seek me, then. So the terms and condition is call on him, repent, humble ourselves. He said, after we have fulfilled this, then he will heal our land. God ought to heal our land. Because he's too sick. It's not everybody that died that should be buried, Steph. Amen. It's not everybody that died that should be buried. What do I mean? There should be some person that will die and should, be, should wake up. What about the miracle of waking the dead? It's no longer available in, the, in our realm now, but. Can we talk to God this moment? Show us mercy as a church. Show us mercy as a church. Our secret fault. I was putting discord amongst brethren. Ourselves, we are angry with ourselves. Ourselves, we are not even happy amongst ourselves. Ourselves, we are bearing malice amongst ourselves. And how can the power of God flow amongst us? We are disagreeing with one another. We don't agree with that sister and that brother. We don't agree with pastor and the lad. Ourselves, we need help. Show us mercy, O oh Lord. That should be our prayer first. Can we pray, brethren? Can we pray? No more dull moments. We are talking to God. We are going to raise few prayer points. And talk to him because we need immediate answer. Show us your mercy. Show us your mercy. From our individual lives. Secret fault, secret sin. Secret fault. I am offended with him. She is offended with me. O oh Lord, forgive me and forgive her. Show me mercy. Show her mercy. I am offended with her. She did me this. She did her that. Oh Lord, forgive every one of us. We are asking for mercy. Oh Lord. We don't talk to each other. We don't talk to each other. We bear malice amongst each other. How can your power come down? Show us mercy, oh God. Show us mercy, oh God. We need your help on such a day like this. We need help. But help cannot come until you forgive us. Until you forgive us as a church. You forgive us as individuals. Until you forgive every one of us. That brother did me bad. He was responsible for what happened to me. How, how can I forgive him? How can I forgive him? He's responsible for what happened to me. Or he's responsible for what happened to us. And we're keeping ourselves back. Let the children pray. Let the children pray. Mercy, oh Lord. Mercy, oh Lord. We must move. Show us mercy. We come with repentance. We come with repentance, Lord. Forgive us. Forgive us as individuals. Forgive us as a church. Show us mercy. We want to return to you. We want to return to you. Oh Lord. Show us your mercy. Ah. 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 Show us your mercy. Help us. 
Forgive us, we pray, O oh Lord. Forgive us, we pray you, Lord. Forgive us, we pray you, O oh Lord. Take it away, take it away. Take it away from us. Emptiness, emptiness, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, emptiness. Spiritual dryness as a result of our faults. O oh Lord, fill us again. Fill us again. We are not feeling your word. Even when your word is going on, we are not feeling it because we are now empty. Oh, mercy. 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 In Jesus' name we are praying. 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 I want to believe we prayed. I want to believe we prayed. I want to believe we asked for mercy. Because if we must demand for immediate answer, then the terms and conditions must be met. So I want to believe we ask God for help. And I want to believe we are already forgiving each other. It must be practicalized. I want to believe we are already forgiving each other. Brethren, 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 daddies and mommies, daddies and mommies, forgive the young man that is talking. I want to believe we are forgiving each other. If you have not, in one minute, please ask for mercy and forgive. In one minute, we are waiting for you. One minute have elapsed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We must pray and open up doors. Brethren, we must pray and ask doors and gates to be opened for us as a church. Are we listening? We must pray now. Every one of us we are going to pray. Doors that are locked. We are commanding those doors to be open. Are you listening? That's why we say, if we do the first thing, then every other prayer point, every other prayer we will make will be effective and we get answer. I am tired. We should be tired of a church where when we have need, we can conveniently solve our need. And those who have some, who have some are being wearied. The brother that you know that okay, if we go for help, this brother will give us. If hundred people are meeting that brother, how will that brother remain? Won't that brother be wearied? Won't that brother be tired? How will the brother want to remain in the church? How will the sister want to remain? Because as if everybody is coming for help. And even when you have, you don't want to show that you have. There I talk now. The next thing I will see, 100 people who have lined up. Seeking, bro, please, I have this need. Shouldn't God open the door that everyone, somebody should be seeking for who to help. If you think it is impossible, don't pray. Don't pray. So that you will not kill the spirit. We are going to talk to God. Let doors of finance, gates, treasures of darkness, ha, ah, treasures of darkness, hidden riches of secret place, let it be opened. Let those doors be opened. 
hidden riches of secret place there are hidden riches there are treasures of darkness there are treasures that are buried hidden riches of secret place big businesses that God will quickly connect that everyone will be seeking for who to help our church must rise to higher height I want us to thunder heaven we must get it talk to God doors must be opened doors must be opened gates must be broken gates that are hindering us you gates you gates hear you the word of God the Bible said he has broken the chains he said according to his word that he make the crooked path straight and break the gates of brass turn the brass of iron to asunder hear you the word of God every gate of brass be broken now all gates of brass all doors that are locked up be opened in the name of Jesus doors that are locked doors of finance doors of finance we command you wherever they are hidden be released in the name of Jesus Abba how long how long shall it be if the door that gate to the city was open on its own accord every gate to the city city of greatness be opened be opened be opened be opened in the name of Jesus be open for this church for this church for us for us for us for us in the name of Jesus ah in Jesus name we are praying ah in Jesus name we are praying amen amen we don't have time so we'll be cutting the prayers but effectively pray are you listening the Bible said there is no enchantment against Jacob neither divination against Israel see if you say I'm proud let me be proud me I believe no man can kill me through any enchantment I believe it are you listening to me me I believe it I said me oh I didn't say you but I say I, I believe it listen to me listen to me listen to me the day I had my accident the day I had that accident I was on the ground what I was all I was saying is me that was what I was saying me 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 that was what I was just saying hey me me I keep saying me 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 I just so believe it how can me oh I say if you think if you say it is being proud at least if my glory should be glorying in the Lord I'm okay with it you know why you know why I know there is a realm I belong to I know it I, me I say I know it I know that realm I know that realm because I visited that realm I've been visiting that realm and if I know in that realm there is no impossibility what should it happen? I now notice that it is my carelessness. Because clearly, we were told, thieves are there. They packed. When we are, move, we are about to move, the man stayed and said, let's go. His brother said, he's not going to. He alighted. He should go. Me, stubbornly say, oh yeah. Why? I was looking for money. Because I was to handle a, a work. Millennium Development Goals. They contracted me for a walk in Elorin. 
So I was wanting to say, let me reach there so that I'll go and do work. So anything, just go. And that was how the vehicle collided with a stationary trailer that night. So what I'm only saying is that when I had, I didn't say is, I didn't say we won't have anything though. Or maybe an accident or trouble. I only said all I was saying that day was me, me, me. That was what I was just saying. It's not as if I'm too a holy brother. Abba. My own problem is too much. Too much. That's why every time I, I used to say, God, show me mercy. People have offended, they are too much. People have done bad, they are too much. Show me mercy. It's only your mercy that is exonerating me. Oh. Are you listening, brethren? That was why then, I used to remember when my dad would be telling me, I was younger then, so I used to travel anytime. Anytime my boss sent me to, 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 for an errand, maybe in Lagos or Port Harcourt, especially Port Harcourt, if I finish doing business, I'll just stroll to the, to the village. Anytime, I'll just stroll to the village. And then, any money I have, maybe I buy this, give this, give this. Anytime I tell them, they say, hey, so, so, so person, Kai, you are taking risk. I'll just laugh. And any of those people, they say, these people are diabolic. I like going to their house. Once upon a time, I went to one of the women's house and sat down and she prepared food. That one is a known Amadi or her agent in my village. I sat down and ate food. I was still young then. Then, self, I feel the Z was small. Hallelujah. So what I'm saying is, if the Bible said there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither divination against Israel, hi, are you a spiritual Israelite? Are we not among the commonwealth of Israel? Are we not children of promise? If we have been redeemed by the blood, then that promise is unto us. Now, any man any enchantment that's the next prayer now any enchantment against us we will return it back to sender if it has already been sent now they should turn back they should turn back are you listening brethren the prayer should not be this way it should be with vigor it's not possible it is not possible because i know i know that i am born again and I had a genuine encounter. And I know I spoke to God. And I know I came to Him. And I know I met with Him in the place of prayer. And I know He has deposited something. And I believe that His word is true. And the word says, no enchantment against Jacob. No divination against Israel. Right now, every enchantment, every divination, return to sender. Return to sender. Return to sender. In the name of Jesus. From today, every church member is immune. Every church member is immune. Immune. The Lord immune you. He immune you. That enchantment, divinations, should not have any effect on you. Ah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Sister pray. Oh. Sister pray. No enchantment. No divination. Anyone that has already been sent. I stand in the order of God. By the power in the name of Jesus. I order you get back. I order you go back to sender. I order you go back to sender. Not for this church. Not for me. Not for my children. Not for my wife. Not for my family. I order you back to sender. In the name of Jesus. No deaths. No wickedness. No evil. Shall befall us. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we are praying. In Jesus name we are praying. Abba.
Amen. Amen. Remember sometime we read in Job. He said, these things will not be because we have a covenant with, we have a league with the stones. That is to say the element of creation. When we have covenant with the element of creation, whether water, whether sand, whether stone, any one of it, if we have league with them, we have covenant with them, then anything that will be used through them against us will not happen because already we have got covenant with them and I haven't had covenant with them we are made to understand that we have dominion over them so anything that was said and thrown to the air said and thrown inside water said and kept in one tree or anywhere and those things are now manifesting this is when we will kill it because we have covenant with this thing so we are giving back we are speaking just as the bible says earth oh earth that is to say somebody spoke to the earth and it started manifesting in somebody's life. Right now, we're going to make covenant. We're going to speak that any one of it that has already been said, thrown inside air or inside water, thrown to the air or spoken into the air, or it was thrown inside water, or they tied it in one tree, or it's like sand and they spoke, spoke into the sand and released it in the air and say as far as this thing is scattered so will that person remain like that we are going to command anything whatsoever we are using those things we are speaking to those things say in the name of jesus all of it shall all turn back to those who have done it why because we have covenant with them so our covenant supersede theirs so whatever thing they are made on it we are now giving back our word return back to sender can we speak bro sister don't make light don't make light the point don't take it for granted don't make light the point because it's happening people are doing it they will tie somebody and put him inside calabash tie somebody and put him somewhere as far as this thing is tied this lady will not be married or this lady will not give birth or this person will not do this because we have covenant in the name of jesus we have covenant with the elements of creation we command by the authority and the power in the name of jesus every one of it have been done we command you back to sender return and be activated over those people we activate your operation on them we activate your operation on them we activate your operation on those ones those ones who are send it we are activating your operation first we reverse your operation first we reverse your operation and we activate it on them in the name of jesus we reverse it and we activate it on those people in the name of jesus either for our brothers or for my sisters or for my parents or for anyone related to me i reverse you and i activate it against them in the name of jesus i reverse you and i activate you to go and walk against them whatever has been said must be and God must hear us ah why not if not in Jesus name we are praying in Jesus name we are praying in Jesus name we are praying brethren we are gathering this other one I think this should be our last prayer point we will gather all of them together are you listening brethren i am tired of hearing that somebody is sick this one is sick and they are spending money this church must pray against it where is what's that his name is it chisum uh, bro eugene's son where is he where is he 
Please bring him. And now those the sequence matters. It's just a fair concern in the inside. Church, are you listening? This one is not a uh, let him do one miracle. No, we are all doing miracle. We are all going to do miracle. A miracle is not a strange thing. It must be. If God is not here, let us know. So that we rest and think of other better things that we can do with our lives. But if we are doing God's business and God is around, then God hear prayers. Any other matter? If there are matters, please bring it out. We are modeling it. We are gathering them together. Matters, matters that have lingered. You say this one, they keep going, pay money, spend money. It shouldn't be again. Are you listening to me, church? It should not be. Then, we are also joining it. Are you listening? Though you say, eh, but this is a normal prayer point we make. I said it should be ending this time around. If you will represent the person, please represent. If you know any other person of that nature, please represent the person for uh, uh, marriage and issues of the womb. Are you listening? Marriage and issues of the womb. So I say, if you want to represent somebody, represent. If it's somebody close to you, please do. Matters of the issue of the womb. If Bible said it, then God should answer it. Now we are going to pray. Brethren, we are going to pray. And we are all standing here. We are also going to pray. And we are saying, God, we are saying this matter should be ending from now. Ah. The MM is the MM don't, don't look born again. Let me use that word. That MM don't, don't look born again. We are saying this matter should be ending from now. Yeah. Brethren, we are going to pray and stretch our hands. Please. I was not instructed to do this thing, no. I was not told. It's just that we pray. But if you are we are led to do it, please forgive me and permit me. Reason being, when there is a little fountain flowing, let's use the opportunity. Who knows? Who knows? Please, can we stretch our hands? And warriors, please, if possible, come to the back. I plead with you, warriors. Please, warriors. Because the power it's been better in the warriors. Please stretch your hands. Stretch your hands. Because time must come when we should be tired in this church of some things that have been happening and ending so that we'll be facing other matters. Sometimes we should end some matter and face other matters so that we'll not continue to repeat this matter. It will be delaying other bigger matters. Warriors, those that need to come to the front, you must stretch your hands. Men, our pastors, please, they are all warriors. We need to make this thing end now. Now, I am saying now. I am not saying tomorrow. I am not saying tomorrow. In the realm of the spirit is a possibility. It is a possibility. With faith and belief. With faith and belief. Jehovah, you are ending it. Spirit of God. Spirit of God. Now, let it end now. 
Jesus. Jesus. He shall end now. Jesus. 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 Bread of children. Feed him. Feed him. Feed him. Feed him. Feed him. If you refuse to feed him, you are an unjust God. You are an unjust God. If you refuse to feed him with the bread that belongs to him, you are an unjust God. But you can't be an unjust God. Ah, feed him. 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 Feed him with the bread of healing. Feed him. You say healing is the bread of children. Give him that bread. Give him the bread. Let him eat. Let him eat. Let him eat. Let him eat. Oh, Ah. Yay! must be done it must be done in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus they are healed they are healed they are healed they are healed in the name of Jesus receive your babies Receive your babies. Receive your babies. Take your spouse. Take your spouse. Let them come. Destiny help us. Come. 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 Speedly. 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 In the name of Jesus. Oh yes, Lord, the God of the watchman. Powers of old Ngwa manifest. Go move in their lives. Now begin to perfect all that consign them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Brethren, it is done. With faith and belief. With faith and belief. <laughs> Yay! It is done. Abba. Mommy, bring that child and let all the prayer warriors surround the child. Bring the child. Not without. Give the answer to prayer time. Let the prayer warriors surround and pray, and that ends it. They have the authority to declare what must be, and it must be, and there is nobody will change it. Abba.
In Jesus' name we are prayed. Prayer warriors, what have you said? What are you saying? Thank you. We want to appreciate the Lord. We want to thank Him, saying, Lord, we are grateful for Thee. We want to tell Him, Lord, we are grateful. He said, If my people who are called my, my name will humble themselves and pray and repent and call upon me, and say, so I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. Now you have heard from heaven. And you have healed our land. And now it is settled. Thank you because it is settled. Thank you because it is done. Glory be unto thy name. Glory be unto the name of the Lord. 